Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. My name is Jazz and this is a, another general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, summarizing Venus and Jupiter. I do love and appreciate you guys, your time, your energy, and your support so much. We're going to jump right into this message. We're going to see what is going on, what you may need to know or be aware of. I ask that you just smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure your little monkey butt is subscribed, okay? I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. And let's go ahead and get into this message here, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, what you need to know or be aware of at this time, Capricorn. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn. One more. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn, Sun and Rising Venus. Twin flame. This is your divine counterpart, or this is a divine counterpart connection. Support, forgiveness, and patience. This is your twin flame. <laughs> you guys, oh my goodness. Okay, so twin flame Capricorn. Here we go. Let's see. What is this person's thoughts and feelings towards Capricorn? Judgment. This, this person feels like you have been bought into their life for a specific reason. This person feels like you and them were meant to be together, meant to come together. We have the seven of wands here. There's almost this um, sense of a physical change, right? Like, yeah, it's like, it's such a powerful connection. This person almost feels like they have to protect themselves from it in, in some sort of a way, like, This person feels as if the relationship is very testy as well. Three of Swords trying to come out. It's triggering to them. Let's see. Show us one more here for Capricorn. How this person feels towards them. This person really desires you. They feel very drawn and connected to you. This, this person has a lot of overwhelming feelings as it relates to you. And I only say that because it's almost as if they're trying to protect themselves from feeling what they feel because of how powerful and how strong it is. This person is like trying to tell themselves that it, it's one thing when they know it's something else. It's almost as if this person is trying to fight these intense feelings that they feel about this connection. This person knows that the two of you are meant to have some sort of long-term commitment, longevity type of energy. This person is very drawn to you, pulled to you emotionally, sexually. Um, this person, you know, they pick up on your energy intuitively as well. It's like they, they know that you're thinking about them and they're thinking about you. <clears throat> it's a very mutual energy. It's, it's a mutual feeling. This person knows that you and them were coming together here in the physical realm for a specific reason. You know, they feel like you and them were meant to share something with one another. The, the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Fool shows us that this is, you know, somebody who knows, you know, for fact that they want to take a chance here. They want to take a leap of faith here, but something is keeping them from truly um, embracing and embarking on this new opportunity and this new beginning that is coming through, right? And it's, it's presenting itself in the Seven of Wands energy. So let's see what is keeping this person here, spirit, from 
embracing fully all of these emotions, all of these feelings. You know, why is this person blocking off this energy? Why is this person really not trying to step into the emotions that they feel towards this collective? Why is... Yeah, the oyster, if you guys didn't watch the last reading. <clears throat> this person has a lot of feelings that are tied up within themselves. Let's see, show us what we need to see. Why is this person not stepping into the emotion and feeling? Why are they trying to block and protect themselves from these feelings? Three of Wands. It's almost as if they're containing this emotion, containing this energy. Page of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Tell us about the Seven of Wands here. Why is this person... The Wheel of Fortune... Jupiter energy. This person is wanting to move forward. It's like they want to move forward. They want to um, have a new beginning here. They want the wheel to, to change. They want the wheel to move forward here in the connection. Like they want to have a new beginning here. Give us one more here for the seven of wands. Why is this person... Because they're not being honest. This person is just holding back the fucking truth. Ace of Swords with the um, Knight of Swords. I don't understand why this person is not just speaking their God's honest truth. It's almost as if this person is forcing themselves, forcing themselves to, to feel this way. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. With Temperance and the Tower. Two of Swords. This person is needing to speak their truth. It's like they don't want to tell the truth. They don't want to tell you how they feel. They're afraid. There's a fear here because they know exactly what type of relationship this is. They know exactly what type of connection this is. And it's like this person is containing all this emotion, all this love within themselves and, and not acting on it. At, at some point, it's going to, to pop open. Yeah, it, I mean, they know exactly what they want here. This person feels very drawn to you, called to you, pulled to you. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Show us more here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn and the person that they have in their mind, the person that they're here for. Show us this person's actions towards Capricorn in the near future. You have the High Priestess. You have the Empress. So you have Cancerian energy, Libran energy, Taurian energy, Venusian energy, the moon. Shows this person's actions towards Capricorn in the near future, next two to four weeks. Page of Wands, Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Temperance, the Chariot.
So I do feel like this person is wanting to come forward and express some sort of love here. The Three of Swords does bring us to heartache and pain. But this could be, you know, communication through growth. Because of, you know, truth and conversation that comes in. I, d I do feel like this could be about growing through the pain, growing through the hurt. But there is a sense of expressing and giving love. <clears throat> and even offering partnership here. Right? And wanting to talk about partnership and wanting to talk about longevity. Feel like secrets and things are coming to the surface things that were once hidden will come to the surface and this person is you know maybe wanting to finally communicate how they feel let's see tell us about the high priestess here three of cups so the three of cups uh is about union it is about harmony and love you have the four swords mm. and the hierophant i do feel like this person could have been talking to their friends or to those of those that are close to them about this connection kind of brainstorming and going over and reviewing certain things definitely talking about the future i also see some of them actually cutting out their friends and not listening to them because the way this this card is situated is situated situated it's almost as if they're like i can't keep listening to other people because it keeps me in a position of not getting what i want you have the lovers the page of swords and the ten of pentacles yeah i feel like this person is wanting to talk about having everything with you having this this lifetime energy with you this person is wanting commitment this could even be about moving in together this could be about starting a relationship with one another there's a lot that's on this person's mind this is about a fresh start a fresh new beginning but again feel like this person is going to express and expose what they've been holding back and hiding from you. All right. So tell us about this Empress with the Page of Wands. Tell us about the Empress with the Page of Wands. Three of Swords. This is a discussion that's going on here. Tell us about the Empress with the Page of Wands. Yeah. There's some sort of apology. There's some sort of conversation that kind of comes in. It's a very emotional conversation. There is a lot of love and it's coming from a masculine. There could be an apology or just a conversation about the past, past hurt, past pain. And it's bringing the two of you together. You do have the three of swords twice. So again, it's like growing through the pain, growing through the hurt. And you have six of wands. It creates a very successful situation for the two of you. Tell us about the three of swords here. Yeah, it's, it's working through the heartache. It's working through the pain. And coming together and really making it work. Temperance. This person wants to make it work. Somebody wants to make it work. Putting in the effort that it takes to get through the rough patch in this union.
Wow. All right. So what is the advice here, spirit, for Capricorn? What is the advice here, spirit, for Capricorn? You have the Ten of Cups. There's a need to embrace this person, this energy, this change. Seven of Wands, see that? Do not block this blessing that comes in for you. And the sun, I honestly feel like spirit is, is asking you to be very open, having your heart open to what's coming in here for you and don't question it don't hide from it be honest um and allow yourself to grow through the pain because there is a brand new opportunity that is wanting to come in here for you this is beautiful i'm gonna leave this here i love you guys i appreciate you and i'll speak to you all very soon